Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to make a video today talking about how you can make some coins in this dead market because, of course, right now, not a lot's going on except for icon swaps, people grinding objectives. There's just not a lot going on in FIFA right now. And I want to talk about how you can make some coins. We're going to specifically look at bidding today because bidding is very OP with not a lot of eyes on the market. We're going to take a look at some filters, maybe some card types and just fluctuation trading, but then adding the sense of um, focusing on the bids more than the buy it nows to actually um, get a little bit extra profit on some undercuts as these cards fluctuate, right? So it's like fluctuation trading, but focusing on buying on the bids so you can get a couple extra thousand coin undercuts, which also saves you if the card isn't really selling at its, you know, max on the fluctuation because there's less demand out there at the moment. Um, you're, you're saving yourself a little bit of wiggle room there because you're getting the card hopefully at a cheaper price with some open bids. And also I want to revisit because it is UCL day today. We have our first games of UCL that we've had in a week. We've got Chelsea, Atletico, Bayern, Lazio, Road to the final items are going to be moving. And I want to just talk about are they over invested? Because I think that Road to the final cards might have reached the moon, right? We talked about RTTFs to the moon. Some of them might have reached the moon because some of them are just crazy, crazy high. But let's talk about fluctuation trading for a second and how you can make coins right now while the market is dead and while not a lot of people are interested in FIFA. So I just spent like five, 10 minutes to look at the market really fast. And uh, I noticed that this Sergio Des Future Stars item is low right now on the game, right? He is low. And I believe there was a bid for him that just expired that I was watching on his card. And it might have just expired for a very low price. Here it is. It's still going on 350k, 362. It got binned. Footbin was showing Dest at 353. And if you take a look at his graph, this guy was selling yesterday at 377, 378. He's been around the high 370s. And actually, if you look at his supply at like 380k, which is where I'm searching right now for Dest, there's literally one page of cards that are on the market right now. Now, now it's cheapest is 370k or 367. But what we're going to try to do is find some what we'll call cheeky bid start prices. That's one of the biggest things you can do to make coins consistently on bids is not just look for the minimum bids on a player like a Death Future Stars or any special card in this game. Look for those cheeky start prices where you know, not as many people are going to see them because people are looking for like the open bids, right? You know, 350 for this desk. That's what I would call a cheeky start price because you know that that's really low for him. But somebody who's trying to just make coins off of a finding a low bid and trying to get a very cheap deal on a car, which a lot of people like to do. Um, they're not going to be looking at this price unless they know death's actual going price on the market. This card might slide through right until it's about to expire where you can slack, slap down a nice bid at 350 and then sell the card at 370, 380 almost later this week, right? That's the number one thing that I want to focus on. And I have an example from last night, a card that I was watching. Again, a very rare out of pack special item that people don't have their eyes on all the time. Team of the year, honorable mention, Andy Robertson. This guy sells for about 500,000 coins. Take a look at this open bid price, 439,000 coins. If this start price on this listing would have been minimum, what is that, like 80K or something for this Robertson card? This card would no doubt have sold for like 480,000 coins. But this one flew under the radar since it had a start price of 400K. And especially since it was at nighttime, not as many eyes on the market. You saw this guy go for a crazy, crazy low price because there probably were not that many traders or people bidding on that item that were really keeping an eye on it. So th that's the number one thing that I really look for when I'm looking for bids is I look for those cheeky prices. This Bruno, I think, is going for like 670K, I believe. 677 right there. So I would maybe try to find a cheeky bid, as you call it, on a Bruno at like 620K if possible, if there was one, right? Just keeping a lot of special cards on your transfer list like this is really great just for comparing prices because sometimes you'll find those cheeky start prices uh, where you can get a nice low bid, like expiring in 10 seconds or, or 30 seconds or a minute or so, and you can just snatch a quick deal right then and there, right? Let's Pogba 409 is very, very low. If I could snag a Pogba at 400K, I know that I could sell this during the day at some point, somewhere around like 435, maybe 440 or so. A lot of lazy buyers on this Pogba too, uh, because he has multiple informs and it's hard to find a player 
that has multiple informs on the market. But that's the number one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys today is those what I'm calling cheeky and you're probably tired of me, <laughs> tired of hearing me say it, but like a cheeky start price. Uh, on these out-of-pack special cards. Now, how do you know what cards to trade, right? You wanna focus on ones that people are buying constantly for their teams, right? Rare out-of-pack specials with good links and that are in good nations. This Lang Lake card, 130,000 coins right now, he's actually up. He was down at like 122K earlier today um, and he was very, very low. Now, what I would look for right now is maybe a little a little price on Lang Lei around like 120K. You can see there's no open bid listings. I'm going to compare price though just to make sure because sometimes you know you search and this transfer market can be glitched so i always say make sure you compare price and take a look at the listings within the first few pages just to make sure that there's no you know open bids that might be cheeky that you could be missing out on for whatever reason so definitely take a look at some cards like this and again when you're looking to find cards right scroll through this page right here right footpin.com backslash squads or go to the team of the week tab on footpin and scroll through these team of the weeks and just look at the cards that people like to buy. It doesn't always have to be expensive cards, right? This Morales, 40,000 coins, very pacey, high dribbling, good links. Luke Shaw, 34,000 coins, right? Kempembe, 219. Even some of the SBC fodder informs, you can trade with SBC fodder informs at night because they go low on bid. People don't think they're really worth much. They list them up for an open bid and boom. Uh, they're just trying to raise, raise some coins for their club, and all of a sudden, you're getting this Ensame inform on bid at 18k when he sells for 26 for SBCs. So don't just think that it has to be meta and usable informs. Those are all; those are always good because they sell because people are trying them out and using them. But don't forget about fodder, right? Fodder informs have such a high value right now that that could be another place where you look to trade with some of these special cards on the open bids. And you can do any promo team, right? Team of the knockouts, team of the group stage cards. Wow, this Holland's very, very high at the moment. That's crazy. That guy's up like 100,000 coins. Um, you can look at these cards. Kimmich is up right now. Uh, Sterling is up even right now. You can look at some of those cards. Freeze items, team of the weeks, rule breakers, record breakers. I was trying to find a filter that I could use that would find open bids per the quality, right? We have the new quality search filters this year. This might be a decent way to try to find some open bids. How much is Alex Moreno? He's selling for 70K right now. This really isn't the best way to try to find open bids, but I was trying to find a certain filter using the new special card type that I could use to maybe find a deal or something like that. I really haven't found too many yet. Um, just because there's so many like lower quality cards as a part of these promos that are very cheap I was trying like rule breakers and stuff like that But that didn't really work out too well Actually one of them that could work out good since there's not many of those cards on the market is team of the year honorable mentions You have to set this kind of high though because you've got Jesus Navas. You've got Marquinhos. You've got um, Fakir, but maybe this is this could be a good one here. Actually. Yeah, look at this because you have so few cards and they're all kind of inflated above 100k boom Look at this. So maybe this is a filter right here. Team of the year honorable mentions. Max price like 200k. You can try to find Fakirs on low bids, Marquinhos, and Mobile Jesus Navas because all those guys sell for higher amounts. You find those open bids, and boom, you have some potential to try to snag a card at a cheap price before it expires. So again, I would really watch the bids right now if you're just trying to look to get on the market and make some moves. Yes, you could of course look for snipes and look for undercuts and stuff like that too, but bids in my opinion are kind of the name of the game just because there's so few eyes on the market right now that um that just brings potential for crazy low um prices on bid all it takes is for like the companion app to crash for one person that's bidding on a card with you and all of a sudden boom you are uh you're making huge profits on that card because that other person did not have an opportunity to bid because their companion app, their web app, or their servers cut out, which, you know, you guys know that happens all the time on this game. But that's enough talk about that. That's what I would do right now if I was trying to make some coins. I'm, I literally did that exact same thing with some of the cards that I have my transfer list. Now, I haven't done a lot of trading in the last day or so, um, but we're going to hop back on that grind with the road to the final cards this week. And that's what I want to talk about next is these RTTFs. Are they over? invested now today of course again we have chelsea atletico which chelsea got so screwed out of they're getting screwed out of special cards this year i don't know what ea has against chelsea we have mason mount road to the final sbc that's the only road to the final item we have for them and i kind of forget who we have for atletico 
Um, I'm forgetting. Oh, we have Oblock. Oblock is our Atletico RTTF 360K for a goalkeeper. Nice. Anyway, so that's the live cards for that game. Then we have Lazio and Bayern. Of course, Bayern have two big time road to the final cards with Alaba and Davies. And these guys are up a lot. Davies 1.09 mil and Alaba is, I believe, like 700K, 763,000 coins for this Alaba card. Yes, this card looks insane. I get it. But look at this rise, man. Look at the rise from last week before he even played. After Team of the Year, this guy rose from 500K, right when the Boateng SBC came out, and he kind of went down in price, 520K. He rebounded to 600. He's been chilling at 600. Last week, he went to 640. He's now up another 120,000 coins on the PlayStation, and he's honestly up almost another 100K on the Xbox, too. I do feel like at some point, some of these teams that are big-time favorites these road to the finals are over invested in Cancelo would be one of those Alaba could be one of those as well honestly what I would do is if you've invested in these cards I think you want to sell before game time that's the safest route we've been saying that all along but again I'm not going to waver here I'm going to say selling pre-game on most of these cards is going to be the ticket so watch Alaba's price he might even dip a little bit before game time today just as people are cashing out on their investment that they have um that they have bought into 760k for this card i know it's cracked i know he has the good links but that's nuts even alfonso davies this uh, this card right here is literally what is it 800k less i can't even type the right davies in here there we go alfonso davies this is like alfonso davies team of the year cards like 1.8 mil or something like that right now it's low he's down right and this card is almost, it's 1.1 mil basically. That is crazy that this card is still that high in price. Honestly, kind of like we saw last week with some of the Europa League items, after they won the week one game, and they didn't get the upgrade right away, but they actually dropped off post game. I would not be surprised if some of these cards who even win at their big favorites, kind of like Bayern are, Davies and Alba might drop off post game because they were over invested and people are thinking their price are going to go up with that uh, upgrade almost guaranteed right for winning the first round of the um, the round of 16 now watch what's going to happen today is Lazio are going to come out pull something crazy out of their hats and they're going to beat Bayern or something but just watch the fluctuations on those cards and again I'm going to say it again if you have those cards take the profit pregame because I think there is a high op high potential and probability that those guys are overinvested in. And I, I would hate to see you not be able to cash out on your investment as it's close to the peak and then lose coins by selling like, you know, later on after the game. Yeah, you might see a, a very short spike during the game if Byron score, but I, I feel like Byron are such heavy favorites to score and to win that the possibility of them of those cards going up further when they do score just just seems very, very low to me. So 100% Alaba Davies, I would take the profit almost today before the game um, comes out. Take your profit there and then look to maybe reinvest, right? Maybe something happens to the Bayern. I don't know. Maybe something happens to to Atletico and like Chelsea go up 1-0, but then Oblak gets sold off big time. You know, just the, the normal fluctuations with Road to the Final cards that you can see. We talked about that in a video yesterday, how to live trade with those. If you would see a crazy price movement and you could have your coins liquid or you can maybe look into some road to the final cards for the upcoming games on Wednesday and Thursday after you sell some of those cards that do play today. But that's what I would say, even for the, the Wednesday games, like if you have Cancelo, I mean, that guy is so expensive as well. I would honestly think about getting out before it gets way, way, way too crazy because you've seen some of these cards already explode so much. Just be careful with them. And, uh, Take the safe route that's honestly my opinion is take the safe route in some of those cards because i do think that's going to be worth uh the the safest route and uh you'll get your guaranteed profit and you'll get out but the team of the week is rising nicely if you bought these guys sunday night abomings 440 i got one at 400k lukaku's up 12k your rente is up like 15 and diddy is up about 5k a card so some of the meta cards from this last team of the week uh muriel as well 44k for that guy a lot of these guys have risen up as they're nearing their out of pack stage because these cards are very very rare and did not get supplied very much with no lightning rounds this week so again big day today with some champions of games it's going to be fun to watch the rttf cards 
And I would not be surprised if we had some sort of like player moments SBC. Since we had an off day of content yesterday on Monday, I would not be surprised if we had like a player moments, a flashback or something Champions League related. I think, yes, UEFA marquee matchups is not going away until Wednesday. So I doubt we would see another marquee matchups SBC tomorrow or sorry, today. I think we would see it tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, also, Wayne Rooney, 12 hours remaining. Last chance to get Wayne Rooney if you want to get that guy in your club. I think Curtis Jones, yeah, three days for him as well. So, yeah, if you're grinding the 82 to 88 bronze upgrade and silver upgrade right now for, like, Icon Packs, GGs, I hope you get something sick. But it is kind of slow right now. It's kind of slow on the game. You know how it is. But we will see. Actually, uh, we also have – I kind of forgot to mention this. I don't know how many people are doing these two SBCs, but – that's a big game on Wednesday with Herman from Mochen Gladbach and Zinchenko from City with that headliner showdown head to head. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but I think we'll get one more player as we see this week, and then maybe he will start dropping some hints for what promo could be this weekend. But I know it's a down week on FIFA. It's really quiet. Road to the finals are like the number one thing people are talking about. Maybe some of the icon cards as well. 100% you can trade with those if you want to. Uh, they are fluctuating. People are always trying icons, especially some of the new prime moments. Just be careful with them, right? Because their prices are going to continue dropping as they get packed more. So it is a bit of a risky flip. But if you catch a big undercut, go for it. And that's kind of all that's going on this week. That's why it's quiet. But there are coins to be made in a dead market like this. And that's why I wanted to explain some of the open bids, how to find some of them and what to look for when you're searching through the market and just grinding the trades in this mid to late February period in FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.